The world economy needs ships. No any other craft can fill up the role of ships when it comes to global transport. But a ship is just a big welded steel with a bunch of mechanical and electrical installations. Thus, the ship needs operators in order for it to run and do its purpose. The ship needs you. A cargo ship's manpower is composed of three teams. The deck department, engine department, and steward department. For this episode, we are going to talk about the engine department. Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. So you are here because you want to join the merchant marine profession, correct? Or maybe you're just curious about the merchant marine. Well, thank you for staying on this video as I will be giving information and answers to the question why you should choose the merchant marine engineering. So stay tuned, maybe this video could help you decide. Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering is the path to becoming a merchant marine chief engineer, the head of the engine department. Oops, wait. Let's go back for a second. By the way, this is my good friend, Chief Engineer Mark Lay Bankaya. He's one of the youngest to become a Merchant Marine Filipino Chief Engineer on international trade bulk careers. That kind of guy is inspirational because it's not easy to become a Chief Engineer, especially at that age. Sorry girls, the guy is already taken. <laughs> So before you become a chief engineer, you have to pass these positions from engine cadet, wiper, oiler, and then the port engineer, third engineer, and second engineer. Although there are companies who offer the cadetship programs that focuses on producing good marine engineers for their fleet, these cadets are most likely will not pass through the ratings, which means from a cadet they are programmed to be promoted to junior engineers if they pass the performance level that is being expected from them. So what are the jobs, duties, and responsibilities of the engine department on board? The ship's engine is the heart of the ship, and so is the engine department who operates and maintains it. The engineers are responsible of the main engine and the engine room as a whole which includes boilers, generators, pumps, compressed air systems, steering gear system, and many more. Generators includes the fresh water generator, which generates fresh water on the ship. There are different kinds of machineries that they have to operate and maintain. Each machinery has its own purpose that the whole ship needed in order for it to run and reach her destinations. During maneuvering operation, like arrival and departure from the port, either it's anchoring operation, berthing operation, or unberthing operation, ship-to-ship -ship operations, and many more operations on board. They have to make sure that the engine is ready and in good working condition all the time. They are also responsible for the bunkering or refueling of the ship and had to make sure that no oil spill or pollution that will happen as much as possible to protect the ship and the marine environment. The engineers are also being called upon onto the deck department whenever some critical deck equipment like the mooring winches windlass, or any other power-driven equipment fails or experiencing some mechanical and technical problems, which falls to the field of marine engineering. They also have to maintain the engines of the rescue boat and the lifeboats on board, including its electrical and mechanical installations. 
It is also the responsibility of the engine department to keep the engine room clean and tidy, manage the engine operational waste and garbage as part of the responsibility in the marine environment. The engine department also have engine watch keeping duties. Either the vessel is at sea or at port. Engineers also have paperwork to do. Documents to maintain as per the safety management system of the company. Electricians and the fitters or welders are members of the engine department. So the refrigeration system, the lightings, ship's air condition, and any other electrical works. The plumbing, deck repairs and welding works for the whole ship belongs to the engine department. It means to say that they are both the responsibility of the chief engineer. The work of marine engineers on board is not easy. They are working inside a very noisy and hot engine room every day. Yes, that's the sound. Sometimes, they have to sacrifice their hands and even their body, holding or buffing these harmful chemicals like grease, oils, etc. just to get the job done and keep the whole engine in shape. So as you can see, the engine department is filled with mechanical jobs which made them technically skilled individual and really good with their hands. So I may not have mentioned everything guys, because this is only based on my experience and research as well. Maybe other ships have more, but I think that's more likely. So if you like technical jobs, likes to operate, maintains, overhauls some motors, engines, and doesn't care to get your hands dirty with oil, grease, etc., then this is the right career for you. Don't worry if you are not good at those things because those successful marine engineers were once a beginner and started from scratch. Being a marine engineer does not end on just by working at sea. In the future, there are a lot of land-based job opportunities to choose if you decide to take a break or retire working on board. So that's all for this episode guys. There will be part 2 which is the marine transportation which is also the path to the deck department. I hope this video answers some part of your research and questions, especially for the aspiring seafarers who are still at school, could be still in high school or already on college, and for everyone who likes to join the merchant marine profession. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you share this to your friends. This could help them. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you very much.